When I look at the buzz in the WordPress builder space, it's very clear that one builder has the spotlight and that is Bricks. It's no surprise why. It's fast, it's powerful, it develops new features extremely quickly, and it has raving fans. So why haven't I spent any significant time with Bricks yet? For me, it comes down to where I wanna take my client-facing work and also the websites for my own projects moving forward. As I really consider what I want out of my day-to-day -day websites, it's having a website that's super powerful, easy to manage, and converts visitors into paying customers. All of that's true for my client sites as well. I want a builder that's fast and just gets out of my way. Speed and efficiency is always the name of the game. So let's take a look at my own site. You're probably thinking, right, but Bricks Builder is all of that. It's fast, efficient, and it's powerful. And you are right. Let's use my own site as an example. I recently completed a refresh of the Permaslug website, so I'll walk you through my thought process in choosing the builder, but it's gonna take a little bit of an explanation. For the past few years, the site has had a combination of LearnDash, MemberPress, Oxygen, and of course, various other plugins on it as well. I needed the ability to have a custom login page that was handled by MemberPress. I needed custom templates that applied to MemberPress for things like checkout and sales pages. I needed custom conditions inside of Oxygen Builder for things like my account page so that I could check whether somebody had an active member press subscription or whether the user was logged in or not. I had numerous different templates for the forums that lived on the site as well. I also had a number of different plugins that enabled features like cross-site copy and paste, keyboard shortcuts, and other various add-ons for elements that just didn't exist in native Oxygen. When I really considered what I needed on the site and after talking to numerous marketing experts in our space, they all more or less said the same thing. Get that shit off your website and onto a platform that's designed to handle that for you from the ground up. Course hosting, optimized checkout pages, marketing automations, all that kind of stuff should live in a different platform. Of course, WordPress can do all these things, but is it designed for that from the ground up? No, definitely not. You can absolutely throw more plugins at it, but I already said I wanted something simple and adding additional plugins is never simple. I've now made the move over to Thrivecart, so I've been able to offload a huge portion of the burden on my website onto a platform that, like I already said, was designed from the ground up for exactly what I'm using it for. So Thrivecart now handles all my checkouts secure content, emailing people their invoices, allowing them to log into a user dashboard where they can manage their own payments and passwords and all that sort of stuff. I no longer have to worry about any of that. I also don't need to worry anymore about managing licenses and paying for licenses for things like LearnDash and MemberPress. And not to mention that, but the resulting load on the website is far less now that I don't have these huge burdensome plugins. Not to mention the complexity of managing those two plugins where they do integrate, but it's not exactly the most seamless thing in the world. So all of that shaves off about 90% of the reason why I needed Oxygen Builder on that website to begin with. So I think some background here is important as well. It's interesting how life sends you these signs that individually may not be that significant, but when you add them all together, they're a giant red flashing light. So red flashing light number one is that in early 2022, I had two friends that had what can really only be described as a near-death experience. I had seen them both the night before, and we all left dinner that evening having no care in the world for whether or not we would see each other again. It was just kind of a given. The next day I got a call that they were being transported to the hospital, and while they were both fine, they were extremely shaken up, they both had major cuts and bruises, and it hit me that I almost lost my two friends in that moment. When I finally got to see them later that day, it was such a relief to see people that I cared about relatively unharmed. It hit me that night as I drove home that what I was working on in my day-to-day -day life was extremely unfulfilling and relatively meaningless, so I took some time off to really evaluate and figure out where I wanted to go with my agency work. All I knew at this point is that I wanted to do something that was meaningful and fulfilling. It didn't have to change the world, but I wanted it to be something I enjoyed and was fully committed to. Red flashing light number two. In June 2022, I had the pleasure of attending WordCamp Europe. It was extremely fun to attend. I learned a lot and I met some really incredible people. The majority of the topics were focused around Gutenberg and like you, I had a lot of resistance to it going in. But after learning a lot, especially from a developer's perspective, I started to see some really exciting opportunities with Gutenberg. Gutenberg was still daunting and of course, as a standalone builder, it's really not there yet. But that's not the whole story and there's more to come on that later. I came away from WordCamp WordCamp with this nagging feeling that I needed to spend more time with Gutenberg. I spoke extensively about it with Taylor and Zach, my two developer friends that also attended WordCamp. We all agreed that it really just doesn't make sense to continue ignoring Gutenberg. And red flashing light number three, I think goes without saying. I'll just mention a certain live stream. Okay, but we're still not talking about bricks here. Throughout the summer, I spent months and months considering what builder I want and what makes sense for my needs. During this time, bricks has really been bubbling under the surface. 
Sridhar, who is probably the biggest contributor to the Oxygen community, had already made the jump over to Bricks sometime prior to this. And that's when I decided I really needed to start paying attention to Bricks. On the other side of that, I've also had countless requests from Taylor Drayson and Kyle Van Dusen to pay attention to generate press and generate blocks, and I always kind of thought, yeah, I'll get around to it. So the summer was getting around to it. After playing a little bit with Bricks, I felt like I kind of got the gist of it. A different, more polished version of Oxygen. And not to say that I've been there, done that, but I felt like I got the general vibe. No doubt Bricks is incredibly powerful and it has its place in the market. So I decided to invest my time fully in Generate Blocks Pro. To sum it up, this one plugin makes Gutenberg a viable option. So I'm sure now the Gutenberg haters have switched off. So I know what you're thinking. But Jonathan, it doesn't have classes, it doesn't have conditions, it doesn't have my favorite feature. Not in a one-to-one -one sense like Bricks and Oxygen, but what it does have is an extremely powerful feature set that's baked into core WordPress and it's not going away anytime soon. If you're competent enough to understand the controls and what's happening behind the scenes in Bricks and Oxygen, there's essentially nothing you can't accomplish with Generate Block Pro. Insert additional argument here. The truth is that no one builder is the correct answer for every person or every site. It's that simple. Just like for some, Oxygen Builder was too advanced and had too steep a learning curve. Generate Blocks and Gutenberg are not gonna be for everyone and that's okay. The reality of it is though, that when you add Generate Blocks Pro on top of Gutenberg, it's immensely powerful. And when you dig in and give it a fair shot, you're gonna see it, I promise. Yes, you might miss some of the power user features, but my point from earlier is that a lot of the stuff that you need on these extremely complex sites, there's probably a platform that exists that already does it better. And you're very likely gonna be better off for it. The thing I'm most excited about with Thrivecart is the optimized checkout pages. My Oxygen course sold extremely well, but had I had a properly optimized cart page, how much better could it have done? So it goes back to what we discussed before. I'm pivoting a huge chunk of my business out of my WordPress site because I want a system that's designed to optimize conversions, increase my marketing capabilities, and to simplify my day-to-day -day operations all while reducing the burden on my primary site. I'm pivoting my agency to a monthly website as a service model where development time, efficiency, and front-end performance are paramount to the success of the business. With both of those things in mind, I just don't really need a powerhouse product like Bricks. It certainly has its place, but my days of building ultra custom WordPress websites with a tool like Oxygen or Bricks have since really passed. I don't want to spend my time getting my hands dirty in every little nitty gritty detail of the site. Don't get me wrong, I love working on complex sites. Many of the personal projects that I have I would consider to be more complex websites. But I proved to myself with the migration of my Permaslug site to generate press and generate blocks that even a site that's relatively large and complex and gets good SEO traffic can be done in Gutenberg. So back to answering the original question. Why haven't I used Bricks? Well, I mean, it just doesn't really fit in where I wanna take my agency work and my personal projects like Permaslug. My primary goals are to develop and teach website principles that focus on being powerful without being overwhelming, where performance both front-end and back-end matter, they have a strong long-term stability, and where accessibility is more front and center. All of that, of course, can be achieved in something like Bricks, but just as I was fully invested in Oxygen, I wanna be fully invested in the next builder, which for me is going to be Generate Blocks Pro. I hope to the maximum extent possible that Bricks succeeds. I think Thomas and his team are absolutely amazing and building a wonderful product, but I'm gonna be watching this one from the sidelines. I'll let others be the champions of Bricks. So what can you expect from me? I've been excited about building websites again for the first time in I don't know how long. I'm pushing myself in a scary and exciting direction both with my agency work and my personal projects like Permaslug. If you want to both follow along on this journey and learn Generate Press, Generate Blocks Pro, Gutenberg, you're in the right place. I really hope you'll join me on this journey. The best way to stay connected is to subscribe here on YouTube or visit my website and subscribe to the email list. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in a future video.